the UCL is just really a weaker structure than anything that would be torn in the shoulder. So when you, when you look at the shoulder, you're looking at like a rotator cuff tear or a labrum tear. And those structures are generally, you can strengthen them and they can maybe withstand force a little bit better. The UCL, you can't really strengthen it. It can't withstand force very well. I think in a cadaver setting, you can tear UCL by just putting, I think it's like 30 pounds of pressure on it. So that structure is going to fail earlier than the other structures in the shoulder. So if you're throwing really hard and you're throwing uh, maybe with improper mechanics, it can put more stress on the elbow and that will go before the shoulder will. Yeah, and I think that, I think you nailed it. I mean, most of it is like, it's like if you throw a bigger engine in the same car, the engine will probably do fine, but like maybe the drive shaft snapped because it wasn't used to having 500 foot pounds of torque. It was used to having 250 starting with like the Job Throwers 10, which was, you know, 30, 40 years ago now of like learning how to strengthen the rotator cuff, which when you strengthen your rotator cuff, you're at less risk of tearing your rotator cuff, less risk of tearing your labrum. And so basically like we've learned how to really like bulletproof the shoulder through training. You can do that in strength training, but to your point, you can't strengthen your UCL directly. And so like our shoulders have gotten super strong as pitchers, which A, protect them better, and B, you throw harder. It's like just you're you continuing to add horsepower to your shoulder. This is stronger and this is along for the ride. So now this gets more stress and this gets less stress, even though it's stronger. So like shoulder injuries are really dropped and like they're largely preventable and not completely, but like largely preventable. Like if you have shoulder pain, you have a, like a kind of loose, you know, you have a lot of laxity in your shoulder. If you really get on your rotator cuff work and your scap work, like it's probably going to, you're probably going to do okay. 